said sunshine, and that's what you're seeing out there for your morning commute. If you're headed out for a cup of coffee, not a lot getting in your way right now. Rehoboth police are still looking for a suspect. President Trump is taking a victory lap at a series of New York City fundraisers. Over a foot of rain fell in some spots of Louisiana. This drone video showing the damage. An autograph ball is great, but when it comes down to it, every fan wants one of these. A yearbook with their team holding the Lombardi trophy over their head. On a clear day, the Newport Bridge is visible from Martha's Vineyard and Providence. Now we're really ready to go. Confetti litters the ground. The seats are empty, but the mood is still electric. The Patriots and Patriots fans are going out on top. They work. <laughs> and now they've cut things back, but you're still probably going to see some crews out there. I just crashed super hard. Children around the South Coast will be assured a Merry Christmas thanks to members of the New Bedford Police Department. Oculus Rift, Samsung Gear, and Google Cardboard. Virtual reality is top technology right now. Southbound side, they have two lanes closed between exits 16 and 17. Let's go back to the metro area in Providence to take a look at some travel times for you. That southbound side from the state line to 195, you're looking at nine minutes. And 95 northbound Route 4 into downtown, you're free and clear of any problems. 14 minutes there. It's a Rhode Island icon. It graces postcards, even the back of our state quarter. The Newport Pell Bridge is majestic in a sense, tranquil, until you get up close. When you drive over it, you're cruising about 200 feet above the Narragansett Bay, and that's only half of it, literally. Denise Anthony knows the bridge better than most. She's the only female maintenance worker with the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority. Part of her job is bridge upkeep. Sweeping the bridge, power washing the bridge, um, getting debris off the bridge, uh, tending to an accident. But today's not a normal day. We're going to okay, the top of the bridge. And then clip. Maintenance workers attend to the bridge often, but this is the first time they're taking TV cameras to the top. We're standing on the deck of the Newport Bridge now, and I'm about to enter the tower. Here we go. <laughs> Maneuvering through the first portion, then into a tiny elevator, a tight squeeze. We have to slip through steel beams not designed for today's typical American. While I struggle, Denise glides through with ease. She knows the bridge inside and out. That's probably the skinniest part of the whole travel. That's scary. <laughs> the next step is climbing a series of ladders. But I feel like I'm crawling out of the sewer right now. You don't hear cars zooming by, just clanking of our clips and a hollow echo, which made it feel like we were underground, not hundreds of feet above water. Then darkness turns to light. Holy moly! It was a difficult climb, but we made it, and it was amazing. And look at what we get to see. A view Denise says she never gets sick of. It's breathtaking. The first time was awesome, and it just gets better. At over 400 feet tall on a clear day, the Newport Bridge is visible from Martha's Vineyard and Providence. Even on a hazy day, you can clearly make out notable landmarks like the cooling towers in Fort Adams. Uh, Fort Adams, where they have all the festivals. The bridge cables have over 7,900 miles of wire in them. And part of Denise's job is to inspect the cable, look for damage and rust. She's become in tune with the bridge. As planes fly high above and boats pass far below, the Newport Pell Bridge continues to stand strong. Denise makes sure of that. Super Bowl champions. This is the best game ever. This Super Bowl is going down in history. They're chanting for the Super Bowl MVP, their MVP. Four Super Bowls for Brady. Good job, Pats. That's right. Proud of you. Believed in you the whole way. Always. Fans are on fire after a come from behind win for the Patriots. Phenomenal. a few years off of my life. I really did. <laughs> the dedication, the drive, Pats fans say they never doubted their team. Didn't doubt them one second. After week four, the loss to the Chiefs, I still believed in them, baby. We did our job. Just knew we had it. All we need is that last interception, and bam, there it was. Game over. The field and the fans draped in red, white, and blue. Patriots pride will be front and center for a long time. Because the Patriots are champions once again. Let's do it. Jeff Bourbon has a wild side, and he's ready to show everyone at the Rhode Island Air Show this weekend. But I didn't have to wait. 
The Jack Link's beef jerky crew suit me up and I hop in the extra 300L. And we're off the ground. First on the docket. Uh, this is just a little side flip so they can see the, uh, the airplane in a little bit better view. Then it was go time. Okay, let's do some fast rolls. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Go. Here we go. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Bourbon says he likes making the plane look like it's out of control. Mission accomplished. And now it's my turn to fly. We're gonna go upside yep. down backwards? Yep. Hold right, here back. we go. Hold here back. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pull it back okay. now a little bit. Pull it back. We hit speeds of up to 220 miles an hour and went from 6 G's to negative 2 G's. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, Bourbon showed me the screaming Sasquatch. It's really cool. It's making a lot of noise in a 1929 biplane that has a jet engine on it. He'll be flying it this weekend. No matter the plane, Bourbon says it's a privilege to fly for people watching below. East Coast surfing legend Peter Pan gave me a quick crash course in the sand before we hit the waves. Pan was nice enough and patient enough to show me the ropes. As you can see from my amazing lack of skills, I really put the U water to the test. Now I was a little nervous the MP3 player wouldn't stay clipped onto my wetsuit and I'd lose it, but it stayed on. And the earbuds were great. Even when I crashed and burned, they stayed in most of the time. They work! <laughs> then I took a break and enjoyed some soothing sounds on the U water, and I found the sound pretty impressive. So as you can see, I'm not very good at surfing, but it just proved that the Fitness Technologies U-Water K8 is totally waterproof. I really enjoyed listening to some good surfing music. It holds eight gigs of music, and it comes with these totally waterproof headphones. Or you can buy a different set of waterproof headphones with this red cord that's flat. You can get this for $130.